Good afternoon everyone, welcome to 30 St James, always a pleasure to be at this hotel. Um, for a big day for Liverpool Boxing, uh, it's been a big week already for the Smith family and, and today uh, we continue that trend and announce the first of our two shows, the World Awake, September the 19th at the Olympia um, here in Liverpool. I'm delighted to have secured the opportunity for Stephen Smith to challenge in a final eliminator for the IBF World Title against Devis Boschiero from Italy and welcome to Devis and also his manager and our good friend Chris Kirchie. It's been a, a while coming for Stephen Smith this, obviously after his fantastic win against uh, Gary Buckland, he moved up the world rankings, won the WBC International Super Featherweight title, then went on to win the WBC Silver title before picking up an injury and a brief illness that kept him out for a while. He's been sat very high in the world rankings in the WBC and the IBF and we've been waiting for the right opportunity and when we were mandated to fight Devis Boschiero for the final eliminator for the IBF, it was an opportunity we grabbed with both hands. It's a huge fight for Stephen Smith. Devis Boschiero only lost to two men, and one was a, if you watch it back, a diabolical points decision for the WBC world title against Takihiro Ao in Japan, that he should have won clearly. And he's a very, very tough opponent, uh, former European champion. And he comes here, both guys, with an opportunity to fight the IBF world champion, Jose Pedraza, next. We're going to hear from those guys shortly, um, but also tell you about the card. Delighted to have made, um, just in the last few hours, Scotty Cardle's first defence of his British lightweight title against Gary Buckland. Um, this is a, a fight which everybody knows about Gary Buckland. Relentless, had a couple of great wars with Gavin Rees. He's always been a big contender in the super featherweight and lightweight division. And it's a really, really tough fight for Scotty's first defence after he won it so brilliantly against Craig Evans on May the 30th at the 0-2. Also on the card, uh, we've got prize fighter champion Tom Doran, um, a Liverpool guy that we know plenty about. I heard he's got huge support, he's Sean Masher Dodds. And also a young man down on the far right of the table, Marcus Morrison, um, one of the top light middleweights in the country. Um, one of the few men that I would actually say is, is better looking than myself. Um, <laughs> Joe, Joe Gallagher, funny, Spoz, come on. Joe Gallagher calls him the, the light middleweight Anthony Joshua. He's a, he's a great, great talent, and uh, we're looking to really push him on on September the 19th. So we're going to start uh, with Marcus Morrison, um, coming after a, another great performance on the July the 18th card in Manchester, fighting back in Liverpool on September the 19th. Yeah, it's uh, another big bill. Can't wait to, uh, you know, Gallagher again have been busy last few months and yeah, I'm looking forward to it that way. Obviously Marcus, you know, you've probably gone through that or you're approaching that graduation stage coming over now and I know the talk with Joe is to move you forward into title fights now moving forward towards the end of the year. Yeah, that's what I want. It's, I think it's time now, you know, to step up the caliber fighter that I'm, I've been in in the past and yeah, I'm looking to step up and move on and kick on, yeah. Another great young British fighter that's on the bill as well will be returning to action. Um, he's Bradley Saunders. Bradley's in camp now at MGM Marbella, one of the top light welterweights in Britain and also world ranked fighter back from a hand injury. He'll also be at the Olympia on September 19th. And now to say a few words, the current British lightweight champion, Scotty Cardle. Thanks, Eddie. No, well, I came here not knowing what I was, what I was in for, really. Um, I've just been told now, so I've got a Gary Buckland fight and I'm just happy. I'm happy I can focus on the opponent now. And, and just I've got four weeks preparation. Uh, well, obviously I've uh, I've been training for the last six weeks and it's all going to plan. I've been training off for Gary Sykes, but obviously he's he's uh, caught a virus, so maybe we can make that down the line. But um, I'm just happy I've got an opponent now, and uh, I'm looking forward to it. Obviously Liverpool's one of my second homes, and uh, I'm I'm happy to be back in Liverpool too. He's, he's very versatile, Scotty Cardle. He, has, he can be at home in Scotland, in Blackpool, in Liverpool, in Sheffield, in London, and that's what we like about him. But Scotty, obviously a great win for you against Craig Evans uh, in London. And, and we've seen a lot of Buckland, two fight of the year contenders against Gavin Rees. You know exactly what you're going to get from Buckland. Yeah, I know I've got to be fit, uh, got to be fit on the night. I know he's just going to come and bring everything he's got, and he's got a lot. So uh, I'm, I'm expecting a tough, tough night, um, and I'm just, I can't wait now. Now I know who it is, I'm, I'm more than happy with the opponent, and I'm sure my coach Joe Gallagher's happy with it as well. So 
Let's make it happen, definitely. Obviously, the lightweight division at the moment is unbelievable. You saw Luke Campbell fight Tommy Coyle recently. You've got Anthony Crawler, hopefully fighting Perez, Terry Flanagan, Derry Matthews, Ricky Burns, Kevin Mitchell. Yeah. You know, I know that you feel that, that you want to be put into that mix as well with all the top lightweights in Britain. Of course, yeah. I'd say a lot of the British lightweights are world level now, so I won't start calling out names, you know what I mean? Because that's not my swagger, like, but it's, it's just how I am. I, I, I like to be, want to be in the mix, really. I do want to be in the mix in the British lightweight division, so uh, I feel like I'm obviously a, a hold the Lonsdale belt and I feel like I'm a, a bit of a target anyway, so um, I'll never turn down a fight. That's one thing about me, and the bigger the fight, the better for me. Thank you. Christian, welcome. Um, we've made a number of fights together, your father and my father and us over the years. And um, we spoke about this fight. It's a, a fantastic fight between two of the very best super featherweights in the world. Thank you, Eddie. Thank you. Good morning, everybody. Uh, I guess it uh, would be a good fight. You know, the opponent, uh, Davis, is, uh, like you say, is a former uh, European champion. Uh, he has only three losses, uh, let's say controversial losses. For the WBC title, he should have won. It was a split decision. And uh, against uh, Jacob in France, the first fight was, you know, very close. And the second one was close as well, but we was abroad and uh, we know he's in a tough fight against uh, Steven, but he will come here to win. And ask uh, Davis about, this is a big opportunity, a must win fight for both fighters. Uh, he, he knows it's a big opportunity and uh, he's fighting abroad and uh, he knows he has to do more to win this fight, respect of the other time. And can I ask him, uh, obviously he's, he's seen Stephen Smith, what kind of fight does he expect on the night against Stephen? Can I match this Aspetto eh, sicuramente di essere vittorioso e eh, eh, no. Ino is a good uh, technical fighter, but you know he's expect to win this fight. Thank you. Joe, obviously um, we had a press conference in about 45 minutes after, so I'll ask you if you could try and keep this one uh, under your normal duration. But talking about some of your charges on this bill, of course Marcus Morrison. Um, who you, you've got big things from Jose Burton as well, and Scotty Cardle, and of course Steve Smith. Yeah, uh, another busy night. Uh, really pleased with Marcus. He's had six fights in his first year. Uh, like I say, he's boxing at the Olympia on this show. And not only that, though, his development has come on really good in the last 12 months, being in the gym sparring with the likes of Liam Smith. And uh, Marcus takes um, great education from them spars with them. He can't be in a better place to learn and develop with what's going around them at the moment. Scott Cardle fighting Gary Buckland. Well, Gary Buckland, this is the third time we've up against him now. Um, obviously with John Murray and then with Stephen for him. So the point is not to make sure it's third time looking for Gary Buckland. Um, they'll be well drilled and you know plenty about Scott Cardle after the stable mate Craig Evans having just fought Scott Cardle. But I do feel for Scott Cardle and Stephen Smith, they both perform better when there's a fear factor. And I think um, Gary Buckland comes um, and brings the fear factor for Scott Cardle and also feel this fight for Stephen Smith. Um, it was unfortunate, he was on a great role, he got an illness, kept him out at the end of last year, he's come back, just treaded water, but I do feel this is the, the type of fight that I'll give Stephen Smith the fear factor as well and I'm expecting both kids to be on point and to produce uh, two good performances from September the 19th. Obviously a lot of people here know about Gary Buckley and what he brings. You've studied Davis Boschiero, what do you expect from the fight between him and Stephen? Um, this in the, at the Olympia is an ideal situation for it. it, it this fight could happen in a phone booth, the ring in there, the atmosphere that will be in there on the night. 
Stephen Smith had a, a right ding dong with John Simpson in that arena. I think the fight's got to be very similar. Um, Boschero likes to come forward, not too clever on the back foot, but he likes to come forward all the time. Stephen Smith, quality amateur, he can do a bit of both. Um, but I'm expecting a, a real tough fight. There'll be moments, both fighters will have moments, but I expect Stephen's uh, amateur class to shine through on the night and uh, take it. And uh, Boschero is a dangerous man, it's a, it's a last opportunity when he lost to Roman Jacob. You must have thought that's the end of him at world level now, but he's got an opportunity in a world title eliminator um, to fight Stephen Smith. And Stephen, he's got to take the opportunity with both hands and join the rest of his brothers and fight for a world title. Stephen, obviously, we know you've been treading water for a while, waiting for this, this big fight. Now it's here. I know you've been in camp already for a long time. Big fight and, and a must win fight for you in this stage of your career. Yeah, definitely. I think, you know, as, as you progress further down the line in your career, you know, every fight a must win, but, you know, not, not more so than this for me, you know, I've been talked about, you know, getting a world title shot for, for, for a while now, and, you know, through injuries and one thing or another, it, it, it's finally happening now, and, you know, I've got to grab with both hands, and that's what I fully intend to, and, you know, I, I expect a, you know, a good fight, I've got a, a good level of opponents in front of me, but, you know, I believe that will only bring out the best in me, and, you know, I'm going to do everything in preparation for it, you know, not going to go wrong. But, you know, I'll, I'll make sure on the night, you know, I'll perform my best and, you know, my hand raised in the air. Obviously, as Joseph Boschero is, you know, you, you've studied him and watched him as well, expecting the same kind of things as your coach said, uh, you know, it never been stopped. Uh, Boschero has been with some, some top level fighters, one that could go the distance and, and be all action. Yeah, definitely, you know, I'm, I'm, I'll always, you know, I'll never step in the ring, I won't be fifth or twelve rounds, I'll make sure of that. And, you know, I'm expecting, I know he's tough, I know, I know he's strong and, you know, Joe's already watched a, a hell of a lot of them and, you know, we've sat down and looked at things and, you know, there's things we've worked on already and, you know, we'll continue working on that and I can see them, you know, coming come to, come to light on the night run when I can, I can actually pick the shots off what we're working on, but, you know, that, that, that'll all come and I'm just going to look forward to, you know, it'll be a good fight, it'll be a, a good atmosphere and, you know, as long as we get the win in the end, then, you know, it's on to the world title. Thank you, Stephen. So, September the 19th, the world awaits IBF final eliminator between Stephen Smith and Devis Boschiero. Scotty Cardle against Gary Buckland in the first defence of his British title. Bradley Saunders, Tom Duran, Sean Dodds, Marcus Morrison, Jose Burn. It's a stack card. We're at the Olympia, only around 2,000 can squeeze in there. What was that, Chris? Did you say we can get 3,000 in for this one? Good man. So, uh, get your tickets quickly because we nearly sold out on orders already. So, it's a big night for Liverpool Boxing, a big night for Stephen Smith. And uh, we'll see you in about 20 minutes for the Callum Smith against Rocky Fielding press conference. Thank you very much.